What is going on guys, it's What the Moose here, and I'm bringing you Reliving the Classics on Call of Duty World at War. And as I've said a lot of times before, this is one of my favorite games ever. Um, not just Call of Duty, but any game really. And, uh, you know, I just love, I, I love to do almost anything in this game. You see here, I'll pick up the MP40 because that thing is just ridiculously overpowered. But, <laughs> uh, I, this is a Car 98 sniper gameplay. Uh, my Xbox is actually in front of my Xbox. My connection was a little bit laggy when I was playing this game, so it's a little bit slow on the kills and things like that. But overall, it's a very good gameplay. I think I go 13 and 0 on hangar in the war game type. Uh, it's pretty fun. Pretty good game mode, and should be a pretty good gameplay for you guys to watch in the background. But, we are going to talk about some World at War. So, I think in today's episode, I'll be talking about the snipers. So, as you can see here, I'm using the Car 98 scoped. Uh, of course, as many of you will have known if you play this game ever, uh, before, every sniper except for the Springfield and the PTRS comes without a scope at the beginning, and you need to get, I think it's 25 kills to unlock the sniper scope on it. So, um,. And, and that was something I really did enjoy. I mean, it was kind of annoying when I just wanted to snipe and I didn't really want to use the Springfield, but didn't have anything else um, that I had to get 25 kills of the bolt action. But the bolt actions are actually really fun to use, and it gives you something else to you know use instead of just the sniper scope or like even that thermal scope or whatever if you want to kind of draw from the Modern Warfare series. Um, I really just did it. I just enjoyed you know the aspect of having or being able to put on a bayonet and using that or. Or, I mean, something of that nature, you know. I mean, it just made it made it more fun in my eyes, and I don't know. Um, so pretty soon here, I'll be picking up my artillery, I think. Oh wait, no, I already picked that up. My dog soon, and um, I don't know. That's pretty good with the sniper. I'm I'm not too bad at sniping in this game. Uh, I didn't really do it that often since this was my first Call of Duty. So I mean, <laughs> I think as any young new player would say, they they don't really snipe very often, and I can definitely see why. It's definitely probably the most challenging thing to do in Call of Duty besides using a shotgun. I guess that's probably also one of the harder ones. Um, unless you're using a striker, of course, in Modern Warfare 3. But that, <laughs> that's a different topic. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I thought one problem with the snipers in World at War was that the PTRS was... Uh, I mean, it wasn't really overpowered, but it was definitely the best sniper in the entire game. There was, like, almost no doubt about it. Um, so... Like, pretty much once you unlock the PTRS, which actually I don't have it now, because I had just prestiged this summer in the game in World at War, but I haven't really played it too often since Modern Warfare 3 came out. Um, I'm, I think I'm somewhat low level, I think I'm in the 30s or so. So I don't have the PTRS, which is unlocked at level 57, I think. Um, and, but, I mean, pretty much once you got the PTRS, you just never had to use anything else, because it's pretty much the best gun in the entire sniper tier, so... That was a little bit annoying. I wish they had a little bit more balance. And also, if you ever really noticed, the Springfield without a scope was like a three-hit kill. And with a scope, it was pretty much a one every time. And that just didn't really make any sense. But, uh, I don't know. World at War had some weird gun-type type things, but uh, I'll be capturing the flag right here to end the game. Um, so that is a quick World at War, rather than the Classics episode, but I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.